So I've been chasing an oil switch, uh, oil leakage problem, and I've been replacing the oil switch. Oh, this is probably my, it's probably the fourth or fifth uh, oil switch that I've replaced. Here's an older one. Um, these are all from uh, O'Reilly's, I believe. Yeah, O'Reilly's. And uh, these are Chinese uh, built. And I've been wondering why in the hell do they, do they always leak? And they always seem to leak from here. They just drip, 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 and you make an oily mess on your car. So, for the hell of it, I was like, I want to know why it failed. And this is not normal. I mean, how can this switch uh, fail, you know, one after another? And within days of installation. So, this is the, other, the original one. One of the uh, first ones that I installed. Sorry, um, I went ahead and removed this guy with a grinder on, on this one just so we could take that apart and see what's inside. So, there we go. Okay, there are the contacts. You can see those. Let me see if I can get some light in there. There's two contacts in there. There we go. Two contacts, right? So, they're supposed to be air being able to be squeezed out through there otherwise your switch is just going to become uh, hydro, lock, hydro locked and it's not going to do anything so that is normal uh, for it to leak like that when it fails okay so just adding crazy glue to the end it's not going to work okay so let's see let's take that apart that's the little contact plate spring If I can get this, okay. I had to pause that sucker to get the seal out. This is just a rubber seal that seals the uh, the casing against the the plastic on top. And there's the diaphragm. What I found out is this diaphragm is not made. Uh, straight it's all oval ish so let's see, let's see if I can spin it so you can see 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 that gap right there a huge gap right there however here's the point of failure right there see it's it's actually shorter on this side I don't know if you can see that but there's a wrinkle right there that's exactly where it pulled out pulled out from the seal and that's where the oil was going out and around and out the tip so it looks like the Chinese or wherever this thing was made their tooling is not exactly a science it's just like hey that looks pretty round to me and uh, yeah <laughs> so that's the problem on this one let me see if I can. What's under there? There we go. That's what's under there. There's another piece of contact there. See, there you can tell where the wrinkle is and where exactly it pulled out of that seal right there. Just pulled out, and that's where the oil was getting around and out the connector side. But, um,. Just from looking at this, I can tell that this thing, this metal thing, was crimped on or pressed into the place in the wrong location. So that is number one fault. It's not centered. And you can tell also that the membrane is not perfectly circular. It's oval. So that's problem number two. Um, Quality-wise... I think they're just eyeballing it. It looks perfectly good to me. But they're, I don't think they have the right tooling to make these perfectly circular. I mean, I bet you a little device somebody could make up in their home could do a better job of making these things perfectly circular and perfectly pressed in center. But eh, there you go. That's why I failed. Uh, as far as finding uh, oil switches that are uh, like German-made, 
good luck with that. I've tried and I haven't been able to find them for uh, for air cooled engines. You know, like like my bug is a sixty eight. Anyways, there you go. Now I know. Now you know. <laughs>